When you talk about Argentine investors, are they treated at par with uh, Uruguayan investors on, on the farm? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Uruguayan constitution uh, grants that there can be no discrimination between a foreign investor and a local investor. And that's not just for Argentines, that can be for anybody for across the world? For anybody in the world. Irrespective of color of skin, color of eyes? No, no matter what. 30% uh, of land in Uruguay is owned by foreign investors. That includes uh, European companies, individuals, Americans, uh, we have people from over the world and a lot of Argentinians and Brazilians that are preferring to move here because of security uh, standards. So tell me about that. Standards. I don't see much, I don't see any of you carrying security. This is, uh, and I don't see fences between homes. No, no. Uh, Uruguay is probably the safest country in Latin America. Uh, Chile might be competing with Uruguay, but uh, it's not a place where you need security. There are a lot of wealthy people here walking on the streets, bringing their kids from Argentina or from Brazil to study in Uruguay because they feel uh, safer. And uh, even the president walks through the street without guards. Well, that's more than I can say about India. But I did not see personal security. I didn't see guards, and even in the ambassadors and the diplomatic area. No, no, the no, Gulf no, Coast. not at all. Everybody is free to walk everywhere. If you, it's very strange to have an incident, and usually it's not a violent incident. It's maybe just a burglary mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, moving in the normal areas, it's very safe. Very safe. No security, no... And quality of life is, is good in Montevideo? Yeah, it's very good. Punta del Este, I know, is, is the place where the world is coming to. <laughs> Beyonce has a house there, right? Yeah, Shakira has, has a house there, uh, Ralph Lauren has a house there. Uh, mm -hmm. There are several uh, wealthy people, European, Brazilians, Argentina, Chile, that have been buying there, Americans. It's a place where they can go and no one will bother no paparazzi, no yes. stocking. So. so pretty girls, great land. Ah, beautiful. Good girls. farming. Yeah, you know, for sure. One they a... should get the world's tourist, <laughs> other than the farmer. Well, the New York, New York Times had an article that says Uruguay is the best uh, kept secret in Latin America, and they talk about only wealthy people are uh, going there, but they don't spread the word too much. That's uh, interesting. But yes, it's safe, nice people, hospitality, it's natural in, in the Uruguayan uh, mind. Because we don't have to fight for things. We have a lot of abundance and b are very few. So uh, we like uh, having a lot of people coming and visiting, investing. And the road infrastructure is pretty good. We came out how many miles out of, out of Montevideo today? We are here at 110 kilometers from Montevideo. And that took us what, just over an hour? Uh, no, a little less than an hour. Less than an hour? Yeah. yeah. I saw about an hour before, yeah. yeah. That's pretty good, considering that we also went on side roads and inside the farm. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's, uh, you have highways almost all over the country, electricity, 98% uh, of all rural areas have electricity reaching them and uh, there's water availability all over so on the infrastructure side things are, are